Hey guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so I had to leave the other room because um, it wasn't a like a sound room. It was more of a study room. So I was gracefully accepted into the sound room. So now I can actually talk to you all, but it's still a place where I need to be quiet. So I'm going to kind of like keep the noise down and not be too loud. Um, but I had something on my list and I wanted you guys to look at it um, by listening to me to talk about it. So um, we crossed out the no smoking. We crossed out sometimes you have to remind yourself, blah, 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 whatever. I can't record in public places because of rudeness, and I just talked about that. Um, but that was not rude. That was actually a good thing that she told me that. But she don't count. They, they're the library people are, are looking out for me, and they're doing a perfect, fantastic job. I was referring um, that I can't record in public places, like if I was to go to a food line or a convenience store, when there are certain people around, then. It may be an issue, and that's like, you know, I might get someone who will rudely jump into the video or do something to make me stop recording or something like that, you know. Things that people go through when they record. Some people, not, not everybody. Okay, so um, people ask me why I don't overreact or fuss, and it's because, for one, it's embarrassing. Um, I know you guys hear me say that a lot, but literally it is embarrassing. And I said I was going to stop saying the word literally, but that was from Dottie and whatever girl. Could you do a lot of stuff right now that is not even that I want you to stop doing? And I'm not even I don't even know you like that. Like, so anyway, this lady asked me to stop saying the word literally. And I'm like, What's wrong with that? Can you stop smoking cigarettes? You see what I'm saying? But I don't ever tell her that. She just get, she called herself, just like she told me when I was doing my video, she told me, um, whenever you do your video, be still, don't move your hand so much a lot, not to, you know, don't get offended, but don't be moving your hand back and forth so much when you talk. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Um, that's how you hook the audience. Haven't you went to school? Has anybody tell you? That's just like how, I'm able to, and it makes sense, you know, it could be distracting to some people, but whenever I'm talking, you know, they kind of, you know, I naturally use like hand gestures sometimes when I'm explaining some things. Um, and then they tell you like in, in school or just anywhere in, in the professional world to use hand gestures or th things like that instead of being frozen. You know, they tell you that. So she don't even know what she's talking about. Okay. And then not to say anything bad about her, but her children don't even want to be a part of her. So, but yeah, love you. <laughs> don't worry because I don't even want to be a part of, you know, some people in my family. It's not nothing that I'm choosing to do. It's just something that I'm forced to do in order to protect myself because I cannot bring some people in my family with me. So that's the only thing about it. Um, so yeah, um, people say, well, why don't you, um, 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 you know, tell somebody how you feel or drop my notepad. Some people are like, well, why don't you tell some people um, how you feel whenever they try to um, disrespect or pinpoint something out about you? I'm like, I don't get too many times where people like pinpoint and try to disrespect me and things like that. I just don't um, because I'm always like literally by myself or I'm somewhere that does not require me to have a, a disrespectful person around me because I'm wiser, I'm mature enough, and I'm old enough to know um, who to hang around, um, what to stay away from, and all that partying and stuff that people are doing, like, I'm just like, that's not me. Um, that used to be me a long time ago, but that's not like me now, so I don't really do any of that stuff. I just don't. Um, but however, let me see. That was it. That's the reason why, y'all. It's embarrassing. It's not a good look for you to overreact. Um, and, you know, it's not going to make the situation better because you have demonstrated how to react 
when you don't like something which you're old enough to know better um you know it's it's ways to get around certain things in order for you to um, be remembered as or for someone to really recognize what you really mean and how you really feel so you don't really necessarily have to go overboard and use profanity or pick on another person or things like that it's just like I don't know. I do. I don't want to do anything like that. I want to. <laughs> we all want to, but we we know mature people know that that's just like not the way to go. So um, yeah. And maybe I do need to be still in some of my videos. I don't know. Y'all tell me what what y'all want me to do. Um, I'm gonna do what I want to do regardless. But I would like to know your feedback. Um. You know what? For an example, I was on the internet, and um, and I'm going to tell you right now what it was. It was Shalimar. I talked to Shalimar. You know the singer Shalimar. And I don't want my computer to. I don't mean I don't want this computer to go down. But I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about. Why I don't respond to everything. Um that's considered negative in a way um let me click on this i'm going to literally tell you right now what i'm talking about so i was on um facebook and i love shalimar i love r&b music shalimar got some good songs out there um um, what's the name of that song by Shalomar? Hold on. www.facebook.com um, I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Um, Christopher www.shalomar.com Oh. Okay. Now. Wait a minute. Christopher www.shalomar.com So if you if you guys like don't know who Shalimar is, Shalimar, let me log back in. Christopher Vintage. What? Oh, it's not. <laughs> Wrong password. Okay, so www.youtube.com. Shalimar. I can't believe I've got, I forgot there are songs already. Shalimar. Oh, yeah, they got that song. Get ready. Tonight, I'm going to make this a night to remember. That's Shalimar. Um, so that's pretty much the only good song that I really know that, you know, um, um, I'm saying they might got another song. Wait a minute. Oh, this is for the lover and you. This is, that's my song, yo. That's one of the songs that they got out there. And I was on Facebook and I said something positive, right? And... I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna let you see it. Um, let me go down to Shalimar. Where is that at? You know what? Where is it? Cause it was like, I was like, are you serious? Okay, let me just type up Shalimar. Are you serious? I know she ain't. I know they ain't take me off child mom. Oh, 
Oh no, wait a minute. Let me go back down and find it. This hold on y'all, let me find it. Um one day ago, one day ago. Shut up more. Oh. Oh now you wanna click on now you wanna go on there. Well, since you got on that, go back. That's Shalimar. That is Shalimar. If you can see that. Um, I posted something on the page, right? And let me go back. Boom. This is the page. They posted... A picture on there here it is now it's got nine comments on it okay all I said was don't tell me that I took the comment down don't take it down now and now I'm not sure if this is like Shalimar responded back to me or someone working for Shalimar. Nine times out of ten it might be. Cause it sounded like they was like really, really pissed off and mad at me. And I knew how to respond back without giving them backlash, but be sarcastic in a way in order for them to know that, you know, they were wrong for how they responded back to me. So If I can, where is it? Did they, okay, did they seriously just like, you guys, they took the comment off of here. You guys, they took the comment off of here to hide the fact that they were wrong Oh my gosh. And everybody else's comment is showing on other ones, but the one that I did, oh no. Oh, they took it off. They are not right, y'all. We had something going on on here. Okay, so they it looks like they just took it off. So I'm going to tell you right now. It was this picture of them. Which one was it? It was... This picture right here, we see where I heart it. I put my heart on it right here. So that's me putting a heart on it. There was nine comments. See, it says nine. I'm gonna put it closer. It says nine comments. Okay. Nine comments. Can you see that? Where? Let me take this off the phone, off the hook. I mean, this says nine comments. You see nine comments right here, and when I click on it, it says no visible comments. That because they took it down. Okay, we had a full blown conversation. I wrote them and I said. I, I really love Shalimar. You know, all I did was write something positive about Shalimar. I said, I love to see all of you all. I, it's, I said, it's just such a nice thing to see all of you all together, still together after all these years. That's positive. That's all I said. And I was reflecting back to this picture right here because they're all together. And it's 2020. 
and Thursday, the um, June 4th, you know, they're going to be, you know, they're presenting the songbook um, tour. And I thought it was really nice. And then I got some backlash from her, from Shalomar, whoever was writing. And they were saying, um, I may seem confused, but such and such left the group and, and all this stuff. And I'm like, okay. Then she been like, oh, Shalomar don't get the appreciation that they should get or they don't get enough hits. And then all I said was, I'm so sorry for, um, but that's not all they said. It was like, you may seem confused because, I'm sorry. She was like, you may seem confused because um, that's not all we had um, or something like that. But wherever they seemed like they were very, very upset about the whole thing. So, up uh, knowing me, I got really, really, really um, irritated because it was just negative, 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 this, negative, that. And I didn't want to hear it. So I didn't want to give them any type of negative, nasty feedback, which I was not even going to do, plan on doing. But I just said, you know, um, I'm really sorry that, you, you know, um, that you all are going through that um, with the group. Um, I did not mean to insult you guys in any type of way. Um, I, um, I apologize for my negative comments. Now, I was being sarcastic because I was not negative. All I said was something positive that I really liked their group after all these years. And then I also said that um, I really like listening to um, Shalomar whenever the, your, their songs come on the radio. Um, and then that's when um, they responded back and said, oh, you like the old school Shalomar? Oh yeah, that one deserves that. That that's always gonna be a hit. And then I was like, yes, 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 that's correct. You know, but my thing is like, and then they didn't reply back because they knew they were wrong. You see what I'm saying? And if they did go through something in the group to where somebody felt like they didn't get enough recognition after all these years, and that they're not as big as they used to be, then that's a problem for you all. But if I gave you something positive then you should have took it and run it and you took, you know, took it, you should have taken that and ran with it. So I, so she started, he or she, whoever I was talking to from Shalimar with the blue check mark, they were saying, um, and I'm sorry, I know you took it off for a reason. You don't want nobody to talk about it, but it's too late because I'm talking about it. Um, so, um, but big ups to Shalimar. But anyway, um, so they were like, um, they just really felt some type of way. And so, you know, I apologize for how they was feeling about their team. Um, so, I, I mean, as long as they know that, you know, they were in the wrong. Um, I was trying to enlighten them and make them feel better because um, they had wrote me a paragraph about how they um, wasn't um, um, getting the recognition that they that they needed and some things going on within the group and it sounds, seemed like they were crying and I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all are rich and famous. Everybody knows y'all. Why are you crying to a fan that is saying that they really miss and like you guys? Okay. I understand it's understandable, but really, seriously, that was like so unprofessional right there. And you really, really showed that you was going through a lot, Shalomar. Um, and see, this video is supposed to be about something else, but I'm now going to have to really make a video about it. Um, but I love you, Shalomar. No bad feelings about y'all. I love Shalomar. I always love Shalomar. But I felt some type of way, Shalomar. I did. Because I'm a good-spirited, God-hearted person, and I really felt some type of way. And my feelings was hurt. But it's okay, because I know you guys felt for me, and and I um and I felt for you all, too. And I'm sorry that you guys went through that. But, you know, all I did was give out a positive, you know, comment about the hard work and about the talent that you guys have. Um, So... You know, now that they know that they're wrong, you know, it was uncalled for for that. Um, I don't care what's been going on in the group or anything like that now. Or, I mean, I care, but not enough to not mention the good part of Shalomar about the good positive side of what I'm getting from Shalomar. Okay, I understand businesses and things like that. People go through things behind the scenes, but... At least just say, you know, don't spill out all your heart and pain and problems to a fan um, and make them feel 
like, you know, okay, I just gave them some enlightenment. I just told them how I felt about them. And now it's like, I don't even know if I want to feel that way anymore. You know, you got to really watch out. But just know that I did not overreact. What I did was be sarcastic, okay, and, and apologize to them until they realized that what they were saying to me was wrong, okay? Because then I end up hiding the photo. I end up hiding the comment after they understood what I was saying and things like that. It's almost like, okay, who's behind this computer? Is it someone else in the family who is upset? Is it Shalimar? Or is it just a, someone working for Shalimar with a whole bunch of information? I don't know. Um... I just didn't understand that. But um, that's pretty much it. You guys, I don't have anything else to say. They took the comment down, so I can't really show you. And that was yesterday. So you're just going to have to understand, you know, how to. And I don't want anything, any type of beef with Shalimar because I'm a fan. So I don't know what that was. They took it down because they knew they were wrong. They knew they was wrong. Now, Shalimar, if you want to apologize to me, you will come and find me. Okay, because you hurt my feelings, Shalimar, or whoever was writing. It might not have been Shalimar, but that was from Shalimar's pay, and it's a blue check mark. Somebody's operating that, so somebody's going to have to apologize to me because you did not say sorry. And if you want to apologize to me, you will invite me to your concert for free. <laughs> I'm for real. Bye, Shalimar. I love you. I'm always going to listen to that song. You're always going to make me feel some type of way. Shalimar. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm done. I had something else to talk about, but let me see. I think I got 15% left on my phone. Uh, wait a minute. Nope, that's it. I ain't got nothing else to talk about. That's everything in my notebook. I ain't got nothing else. I crossed out everything. Okay, guys, see ya. Thanks for watching.